Selena Delgado. Who is she? Is she even real? Was she AI generated? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be researching into, especially Channel 5, who are the ones who posted this in the first place. During the 90s and 2000s, a TV channel in Mexico called Canal 5 ran a segment known as Servicio a la Comunidad, which means service to the community, that would show images of people that had gone missing, along with a voiceover describing each of them. During 2001, one of the people reported was a woman known as Selena Delgado, with an accompanying with an image. Due to the low quality of the image shared, people started making theories about Selena Delgado with some saying that the image was AI generated and eventually ended up becoming a popular Mexican urban legend. This is what would play. What they were saying was who went missing on April 22 at the Alvaro Obregón delegation. Selena Delgado López, her whereabouts have been unknown since May 28 of the year 2000. Well, if you ever see a video which has this weird Selena Delgado image in it, it is fake. Yes, this image is real. This is the actual person that went missing. Now, again, we don't know if this person is real or not. Her image is so low quality that people don't even know if she's real. There is no information on her. Nothing was ever found about her. But the image that shows this little creepy guy is actually not her, but actually a serial killer that was called the Baton Rogue Serial Killer. Yes, this person right here. The reason this picture looks as if it was like a white man is because the police actually got it wrong. Prior to his murder charges, Lee had been arrested for stalking women and watching them in their homes. Despite this, he was initially overlooked by police because they incorrectly believed that the killer was white. The Lee was linked by DNA tests to the deaths of seven women in the Baton Rogue and Lafayette areas in Louisiana, and in 2004 was convicted in separate trials of the murders of Geraldine De Soto and Charlotte Murray Pace. The Pace trial was resulted in a death sentence. That is why originally they, this was the police sketch of serial killer Derek Todd Lee. So yes, this poor woman has nothing to do with this person. Unfortunately, this woman was never found, there was no evidence of who she even is, and the case has never been solved. This man died of heart disease, eventually but now who is this person right here this is another case now people used to believe that this person was actually Selena Delgado because of some Facebook messages that were going on on Facebook now the story goes as is Selena Delgado Lopez stalking you the truth behind the Facebook friend you can't unfriend and why it matters now obviously this person was getting messages from her friends saying that hey I can't unfriend this person called Selena Delgado Lopez is she hacking or something what is going on but basically what this person did was create a Facebook account under Selena Delgado Lopez they use this image which makes people think that maybe this was Selena Delgado Lopez and then they simply just turned off the add friend button in the settings and that's how people were thinking that they were friend with them when in reality they were not there's a video here saying that they've ghost of Facebook it's uh the Selena Delgado the ghost she's actually Actually on Facebook, yeah, hey, you know, it's bitty bungda. It's actually fake. It's not actually real. Unfortunately, not many things are actually real on the internet. Now, what is Canal 5? Canal 5 is a Mexican free-to-air television network owned by Televisa Univision. It traces its origins to the foundation of Channel 5 in Mexico City in 1952. Now, Channel 5 is basically a kids TV channel where they post stuff like, you know, Bugs Bunny, regular show, and, you know, a bunch of other kids stuff. But on Twitter, they would sometimes post some very eerie stuff. If you go search it up now, you won't really find many things on there because most of it is just, you know. Nowadays, they just post, oh my god, only for true fans of Shrek. What? Oh my god, no, I'm good. Time for lunch, lunch, lunch. Time for a munch, crunch, crunch, lunch, lunch, crunch, crunch, lunch, 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 lunch. As cool as that first clip was, yes, these things were posted by Channel 5 on their Twitter. And people were very concerned, like, what the heck 
is this? Well, basically, what they were doing is basically a publicity stunt. Like, you know how Cartoon Network sometimes posts very eerie stuff late at night? Yeah, that's basically what Channel 5 was doing. It is basically their version of Cartoon Network's Adult Swim, where at night they post these things probably to, you know, make children go to sleep and, you know, get scared and never come back to watching TV late at night. Yeah, there is a lot of eerie stuff that was... The most interesting one was this one that said Selene. Yes, they also posted a weird video about Selene on their Twitter. This is the clip they posted that contained the word Selena in it. Now, while watching the video, you can't really see anything related to Selena Delgado in it other than a few people that seem to be in some type of elevator, it seems. Be the killers of Selena Delgado? Or is it completely unrelated? Well, these videos were not created by Channel 5. Instead, they are actually very popular horror creepy videos that are already popular on the internet created by other people. If they did not make these clips, did they lie about Selena Delgado as well? Well, that video you just watched where there was Selena Delgado and then a creepy image of the serial killer, Derek Todd Lee, that is a fake edit by someone else on the internet. Yes, it is not the official normal thing that was streamed. This is the original thing that was streamed. And as you can see, right after Selena Delgado, they go straight to another person that is, was also missing at the time. But if you keep watching this video, you sometimes question who the hell is this person? What the hell is this man? Manuel Rosas. What a picture. I think this should be the true horror of this whole story, dude, I swear. Just look at that. This is the true creepypasta. Well, I hope that guy was found in whatever. I don't know. If you search up Salon Delgado on Facebook, it says 3.2 thousand people are talking about it. And I see this first post here says to those of us who had had to see this back in the 90s to almost 2000s here in Mexico on Channel 5, it was scary. And you were wondering if they found Solana Delgado or what happened because no one knows. Because to all the people who passed community service where they reported the people who were missing, it wanted help from those who saw that feed. What happens here is that they always said it was already localized, but with Solana Delgado, it never happened. No one knows what happened. If it was a lie, it was a hoax, or whatever happened in the end. In my case, it was already late back in 2005. I was only three or four years old. In the middle of the morning, this commercial happened and suddenly I only saw it two or three times and I was scared. And yeah, there are a bunch of these fake Salon Delgado things. I'm sure there's probably the real one in here and they could be, but I am not gonna be <laughs> searching these. Yeah, this is like the Channel 5 thing. This is so spooky. No way, they were so Salon Delgado with AI. This was the, I mean, this is a man, but uh, okay. This looks good though, damn. Crazy how AI can actually could help or mislead people into seeing who they actually were like what if she didn't actually look like this i don't know that's pretty cool but yeah that is the story of selena delgado and uh, the whole creepy backstory of the weird face dude there's always some type of facebook incident with someone doing some prank in the end i swear dude even with ahino barbara's henocide dude anyway that's about it let me know what you think stay epic bye